Hi there, this video is to help you find your schedule. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in this exercise is find your schedule. So you're gonna, again, go and log in. First you go into access.com, click on login. Then you're going to put your email address, your password, click on secure login. It's gonna tell you your login looks successful. You click okay. It'll either bring you straight into access home care, or you wanna go ahead and select it right here. And this is where you're gonna to come to the dashboard. And this, there's lots of cool stuff here. There's some information here about, actually right now, if you look, you'll see that this is the continuous care information uh, about the note, you could watch that. There's also news and updates. There's all kinds of stuff about what's happening in home health here. So you can look and check that out. You can see the time, the date, there are um, messages here that, that will show up that you can watch if you want. You can also see right here a list of my scheduled tasks. I don't know, I don't personally use this section as much, um, but you might. You can also see uh, any of your clients' birthdays might show up here as well. So just some good information for you to be aware of. What I want you to do in this exercise that we're doing right now is go straight to the schedule center. So you're gonna go up to schedule and go to my scheduled tasks. Your view might look a little different than mine because I'm an administrator, so you might have access to fewer things than I do, but you're definitely gonna have an indicator up here, a little menu for schedule and my scheduled tasks. So go ahead and open that up. It is gonna open up and when you do, you're gonna see part, if not all, of your schedule. And I want you to sort of notice what's there, notice what's not there. You'll probably have a lot more going on than I do because I don't, <laughs> I'm not a nurse, right? And so I'm not on the field uh, doing notes. But you'll see specifically for this exercise of learning how to use the continuous care note, you're going to find that there are three tasks that I want you to focus on for this exercise and not touch any other task whatsoever um, because the other tasks are being currently used by the scheduler and by our, by our payroll and billers. So you don't wanna mess with anything that's already there. But you wanna go to May 13th, May 14th, and May 15th. And on those days, you're gonna find yourself a test patient, okay? So if you are a level one nurse working with level one patient, you're gonna find that you're assigned to a task that's assigned, assigned, three tasks assigned to a level one patient. If you happen to be a level two nurse working with a level two patient, you will find that this is a patient level two. And you're right, if you're a level three, you're gonna find that you're assigned to the level three patient on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Or sorry, 13th, 14th, and 15th of May. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click, just hover over, not even click, just hover your, over the, uh, the task, we call this a task. In this case, it's been scheduled for 12 a.m. to 12.15 for me. Um, usually you'd have an eight hour shift, but in this case, we're just, we're doing 15 minute increments uh, or even less potentially, just so you can try out the scheduled note. And what you're gonna do is hover over it and you're gonna simply click, click on this edit document. And up is gonna pop this new thing called the continuous care flow sheet, all right? And it is here that you are going to do all of your documentation. So all I wanted to do on this video is to help you navigate to the place where you can find your scheduled items, right? These, you're gonna have three scheduled test items where you can go in and use each of these to enter uh, three different test notes, not real notes, but test notes. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take a paper note, for example, from when you work with your patient and try entering everything that you entered on that note in the flow sheet, okay? And then when you're done, you're gonna, you're gonna click on, you're gonna sign your signature and you're gonna complete, save and exit and complete. 
And um, I'm going to set, you're also going to have a separate training webinar that's produced by Access that's also in your training for this month that will show you actually how to do each of these sections. Um, but I wanted to help you find, first of all, just the, the three tasks. And those three tasks, getting them completed, are your quiz for this, for, for this month's um, training. So go ahead and, and navigate to this point and get yourself familiar. You're going to enter notes as though they were your current patient. So take one of the actual physical notes, three different physical notes, and transcribe the first one into this one, the second one into the 14th, and the, the third one into the 15th. And just navigate and figure out how, how you would enter that data. Okay? So give it a shot. Watch the other video that follows that helps you uh, see what the, the flow sheet looks like. And, um, and give it a shot. See how it goes. Uh, go make the world a better place. Thank you.